So number seven then from paper two of the 2017 higher maths. Seven mark question. Greatest and least values in an interval. First of all, for four marks, what's the x coordinate of the stationary point on the curve with this equation? So I'd be differentiate it. But before you differentiate it, put that into index form. So that's got a power three and a root two. So that's power three up and two. So it's probably a mark for that. Now differentiate it. So I'll just go to six. And that part will be multiplied by the power. So two times three up and two is just three. Take one of the power and it drops to a nice little friendly, a half. Now I'll just write that again as six minus three root x for the derivative. So it's probably two marks there, one for putting it in this form and one for differentiating it. Maybe not necessarily putting it all the way back again, which is only good manners. Now, it said stationary points, will they occur when dy by dx is equal to zero? In which case, six minus three root x should equal zero. So three root x should equal six. So root x should equal two, which means squaring both sides when they're going to get one answer which means x equals 4. Don't think you need to put in the working where you'd say that side squared is that side squared. I'm pretty sure you're just to jump in with that. Or maybe x equals 2 squared equals 4. Now B, don't let myself much room here for this. For three marks, determine the greatest and least values. It says hence. That's because you're only looking at the values of y within this interval between 1 and 9. So for that portion of the graph, the main contenders for the maximum and the minimum are the two endpoints, 1 and 9. The only way something in between could exceed one of those would be if it was a stationary point. So that makes 4 a contender. So that means for this part here, there are three contenders. There's x is 1, x is 4, and x is 9, vying for those positions of greatest and least. So you just have to work it out. When x is 1, what's y equal to? So you just pop it in here. It'll be 6 times 1, minus 2 times the square root of 1 cubed. So that's a 6 minus a 2, which is 4. Next contender, please. That's 4. Step up and get weighed in. So it's 6 times 4 minus 2 times the square root of 4 cubed. Well, 6 4s are 24. Now, the square root of 4 cubed, you're better off doing the square first. Doesn't matter which order you're doing it in. You can square it first, square it first and then cube it, or cube it, then square root it. Square root it simpler. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 cubed is 8, double that, 16. So minus 16 gives me an 8 for that value. Last one, please. Number 9, come in. So at 9, you've got, feed it in, 6 times 9 minus 2 times the square root of 9 cubed. Well, 6 nines are 54. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 cubed takes up to 27. And doubling it, in fact, gives you the 54, which means the answer is 0. So, you're out. So, writing it out. Greatest value is 8. Didn't ask for the second bit. I'll just put it in anyway when x is 4. Least value is 0. Did I say go? No, what am I talking about? You're the one that's going. Least value is 0 when x is 9. 